Sadly, another fatality to report tonight. A Tresvin High School student killed while walking home from school. Her death, one of three deadly pedestrian accidents in the last 24 hours in the city of Memphis. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skirlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. WRG's Bria Jones joins us now live after talking with the victim's family about this tragedy. And Bria, our deepest sympathy to them. What have you learned? Greg, the teen's family says she died less than three minutes away from home. And what makes this even more heartbreaking, they didn't find out until the next day. She lost her life unnecessarily. She was walking home from school. She was coming home. The family of 18 year old Aaliyah Dalton, a senior at Transvin High, says she never made it home on her walk from school Tuesday evening. I won't even be able to see her walk across the stage. And this how she was waiting on was her graduation. Her guardian, Felicia Brown, says Aaliyah texted her to say she was staying late for tutoring and would walk home with friends. Well, I thought maybe, you know, she's hanging out. She's with relatives. A crash report identifies Aaliyah as the pedestrian who was hit by a car while walking in the turning lane on Range Line Road in Frazier around 530. She died on the scene three minutes away from her home. Family says despite Aaliyah having her ID and phone, they were never notified. So the next morning, they searched the area and went to her school. One of the students said, well, there was an accident after school. Me and my sister, her mother, we went to the precinct and they asked us some questions to identify the body and it was her. A gut wrenching discovery for her loved ones who wanted to see her reach her dream of becoming a chef. I, I can't even wrap my head around. MPD says the 39 year old driver stayed on the scene and was jumped by several men who accused him of hitting Dalton on purpose. They probably knew her and anybody who knew her that saw her go through that would have did the same thing. As the investigation continues, her family is looking at speeding, wet roads and visibility as contributing factors that cut a young life way too soon. That's my baby and I'm not going to get her back. At this time, police say no charges have been filed. In a statement to families, Tresman High says they will have counselors on hand to provide emotional support. For now reporting live downtown, Bria Jones, WREG News, Channel 3.